Hi there folks and welcome to another glorious episode of Michael's Backyard Marina. I think I got a, a neat idea I want to share with you today. Uh, it happened last night. Don't worry about that just yet. That's coming. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a fun one. I, I'm actually really really excited about working on that one. All right. Well, you guys know that I have a dry dock, right? And uh, it gets hot out here in the sun. So I temporarily did one of these. This is one of those, you know, deck umbrellas. And I just set it up last night, but I got it off Facebook Marketplace for, you know, uh, $75. It's not a heavy duty one as far as all the mounting hardware goes, but as you can see, I've kind of got a ratchet strapped up here for now, but that's not good enough for me. Uh, the sun always comes from, you know, kind of the south, you know, area. And so I want to mount this thing more on this pole here. So it'll be more favoring this way. So, and I want to be able to spin it. This one currently has like a couple of notches here with pins that fit in it, so it can't rotate. But uh, we're going to fix that. So bear with me and we're going to go ahead and I'm going to modify this piece. I'm also going to mount it right here. And then we'll, we'll see how it works. It also has lights inside. I'll show you that later. But anyway, let's get started on this little project. You just got to make some things, you know, handier for you to be able to operate in the hot sun. You know, it's getting into the 90s. And I know you folks that live further down south into the 90s ain't ain't hot uh my wife's currently in texas and she says it was 102 there i'm like make sure you drink lots of water and so she is and uh but yeah i gotta i gotta be in the shade the sun beating down on the old bean cap here is no good for me so let's get started i'm gonna walk you through real quick what i'm going to do and the reason i wanted to share this with you guys i thought about just doing this and like now nah, you guys will see it in another video don't need to make a video about it but chances are you're working on your own boat somewhere in your yard and you're doing tune-ups you're doing you know oil changes you're doing cleaning it up you're just wiping it down you're just doing things and not necessarily does everybody have a shade tree in their yard like where i've got this parked at is in the broad sunlight i mean broad daylight broad sunlight same kind of thing maybe i don't know but this way you could have a you can pick up one of these things reasonably cheap they're not just for picnics and then picnic tables and decks and stuff like that they can shade your boat you know get your own fellers and fellettes get your own and dedicate it to your boat maybe it's not that expensive and i don't think they'll hold up in the wind very well like this you know as far as high winds but they fold down and you pull them out when you need them but the other nice thing is I could have this thing sitting over a boat and it's like a little carport almost area if I don't accidentally get it covered up in time or in a light sprinkle. I could be out here working on it, I think. Uh, more to come on that possibly. So let's get busy modifying and doing some, you know, let's just make it work for us type of thing. All right, let's get started. That's a more manageable position. And these aren't things aren't crazy heavy at all. We'll go ahead and set this down over here. Maybe. There we go. So I think the first order of business, I want to reuse this tube because it does have, you know, this bushing on top. But I don't like the, the notch in it, which is fine. I'm gonna saw this off so I can basically attach it straight to this pole with pipe clamps or something like that to hold it vertical and sturdy. So let's go get in the bandsaw and get busy with that. Thank you. 
that bandsaw is perfect for lightweight jobs like this. Now, I don't like this notch in the top, so we're going to get rid of that too. Because that's a counterproductive for me. And the metal piece for clamping it in place, also counterproductive. Now, we're going to keep the clamps here because we'll be able to still rotate this around and hopefully lock it down is the goal. At least I'm out here on my proper workbench and everything. Just cutting below the notch here. Perfectly square. Now for a little smoothing action here. Now we'll 3D print a little bushing for this. It's nice and flat. I think that'll work just fine. Let's deburr the inside now. That's these two playing. They play rough, don't you? Lucy, you're crazy. These two are siblings. They've played like this from day one or two. Crazy dogs. All right, let me show you what I got so far. You saw me bandsaw it off. And then I have some pipe clamps. These are for, these are actually bellows pipe clamps or hose clamps. Uh, put that on there. We'll see how it fits in there and if it's gonna do what I want it to do. I might have to grind off the pins a little bit to make sure they don't hit this post. The stop pins so let's let's check that out next well, it looks like it's gonna need to be spaced out a little bit to work huh yeah because it's got to miss this apparatus a little bit this this allows it to rotate but also locks the umbrella so let's put some spacers in there not a big deal all right that's what i did there for spacing it out i had to bring it out you know to miss these pins and when that handle part there comes down it's down inside this area so it gives it clearance for that i just cut me some wood blocks use the pieces that i cut off of here to trace a little radius so it fit and i mean this thing is it's as sturdy as the pallet racking let's put it that way those stainless clamps are very very strong and in this application you know they're doing what they need to do nice you know in a high wind or something obviously this is going to be a problem but you just fold it down in high winds and you just tie it to the pole that's what we do with the ones i have up on my deck and they work just fine so this is pretty slick and there again it looks like it doesn't look like it's going to shade much but i got to tell you when i'm down here in the boat like i am right here you know down in this area the sun is passing through this area right here so that's going to automatically keep it you know throw some shade here so i'm not in the direct sunlight and i can swing it around 360 if i need to to kind of throw shade on whatever I need. That's going to be pretty cool. I'm excited about that now. Pretty darn slick. And then I'll have it, I don't have it, uh, ratchet strap holding it there. And it's got another little feature that I'll show you tonight. It has lights underneath it. Now these are LED lights. They're not bright enough to work by, but it's uh, uh, got a battery pack on top, rechargeable. Uh, and so when I come out here, at least I can throw that on so I can see the approach of the steps and everything and not be in pitch black dark. And then I can also work by light in the boat then. So it's going to have multiple benefits here. I think it's, uh, pretty excited. My wife found this on Facebook marketplace. She's always, she's my finder. She, I asked her to look for stuff and lo and behold, she finds stuff. And that, that's how I ended up with this green boat actually. But yeah, that's, uh, we'll, we'll check it out at night and see what we got because that's pretty <laughs> i'm digging on it man i really am now i can put the ratchet strap back away where it belongs last night the ratchet strap was there just to just to help me uh get an idea of where it needed to be and what i wanted to do with it 
And now we can wrap this back up and, and uh, go from there. By golly, if it's got a hook on it, it will hang up on everything. Come on. We ain't done yet, I'll bet. Sorry, this is some terrible camera work here. Let's look at it from another angle here. But yeah, that's uh, that's uh, just a little bit too good. I mean, we'll look at it again tonight, but your boy here is getting maybe a little too high class for his own britches. Might be the best $75 I ever spent because I uh, won't have a heat stroke. <laughs> that's important. All right, we'll get you a night shot here in a second. Maybe I'll place that right about here. But in other news, a latest requirement, sneak peek, check that out. Another 165 horse. That's just a teaser. Um, we're gonna get that running in upcoming videos, so stay tuned. It takes a lot to keep a channel going as far as keeping you guys in new content, new stuff. It gets expensive uh, in relative terms, I'm saying. You know, I buy these two and three hundred dollar boats, but that's still, you know, that's cost. And uh, the best thing you can do to help support the channel is follow these affiliate links down below. And uh, they go to Amazon and these other sponsors of the video that helps this channel out. Um, those affiliate links don't cost you anything. You'll experience the normal shopping experience you'll, uh, that you have on Amazon. And I get a little commission for sending you to the websites and sending you to the products. So anything that you could use off Amazon, use a link, get there, buy it, help out the channel. That's the best way you can support me along with subscribing and giving me that thumbs up. It's much appreciated folks. As you guys can tell, I enjoy what I do a lot. And uh, more to come on Ding Ding here, the Mercury. I'm working on it right now, so you guys get out there and have some fun. This is Michael saying, if it ain't broke, fix it till it is. Appreciate you watching this little short video. And maybe it sparks an idea for you or a friend or somebody that's like, hey, why don't you guys do that? Because it'd be a lot nicer to work on your boat or change the oil in your car underneath that. Throwing it out there. This is Michael, I'm out. All right, folks, we're back in this, back out here this evening. It's dark, you can't see my face hardly. That's probably a, a blessing for you guys. So, but I wanted to show you the, the addition that I put on the dry dock. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a place to put you up here. Let's see. So the dry dock got the addition of this umbrella that I put up this morning. And here's the other neat part about it. Come on, baby, work. Boom. Okay, that's not very bright, <laughs> but when it's dark, and this is where I'm gonna take advantage of this situation, is when it's in the fall or early spring, when you know it gets, still gets dark at six o'clock in the evening, I can come out here, turn this light on, walk up these stairs, walk on this dry dock, and feel secure, because it actually does, you know, it actually does throw some light. Now this isn't a light good enough to work by, guarantee you that but it makes the steps and the dry dock visible enough and the boat visible enough that i can step over into it and get work done and you know use my bright led lights to for my workspace anyway this is up charging all day uh i'm guaranteed you know this doesn't look like a lot but when it's zero dark 30 and there's no light out here this is actually quite a bit of light so just had, it looks kind of cool too, you know? It looks like I'm looking up at some stars and stuff. But yeah, this turned out really well. The nice thing is I can still rotate this thing, you know, 360 from where it's at. So even if I need some, and this is more of a midday shade thing because the sun, when it's sitting right there blaring on me, I can shade the engine compartment where I'm working. Anyway, just had to share that with you guys.